This pillow feels soft and firm at the same time. I'm very familiar with that. There's no need to have any money back for the van. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> there's your home. Hello, welcome back to the new channel. Um, as you can see, there's no fancy intro or anything going on here. I'm currently trying to get onto the M25 because I am en route now to a dealership to pick up a van for a lovely man called Michael. Now, before I explain everything, um, welcome back to everyone who is subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, then please do me a favor and click subscribe because the more of you there are, the more videos I can do, which would be really cool. Before we get to the dealership though, I want to quickly rewind because you're probably wondering who is Michael and why am I getting him a van? Well, two weeks ago, a bloke called Michael Cords emailed me his story about being homeless, but also that he'd recently found a job. The money he'd save sleeping on the streets would eventually be used to buy a cheap van to get him off the streets. At which point I knew I wanted to not only help him find a van, but buy it for him. I set myself a two and a half thousand pound budget and spent days looking at vans online, and seeing a few in person. And then last week, I spotted an advert for a Transit Connect. After inquiring if the load space would be long enough to sleep in, asking if there was movement in the price, and offering to old out his hand at two grand, something happened that would restore my faith in humanity. But before we arrive at the dealership, I had some shopping to do to make sure the van in question was fit for purpose. Now you guys know by now that videos like this wouldn't be possible without sponsors. So this week I wanna give a massive thank you to my good friend Cav from Stjana Gloss for supporting. So while I go there and buy a whole bunch of stuff for Michael, have a quick watch of this. So you did not tell me just how beautiful these lot are. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you like your cars. And if you wanna keep that car even glossier and add a bit of shine, you stick with me. If you're a little bit further down the road and you wanna properly clean and decontaminate that car, again, you stick with me. Or if you just love a bargain, don't worry, there's a discount code coming at the end. Stjana Gloss Car Care, we care more about the contents of the bottle than the look of the label. But I hope you'll agree, the labels look pretty sweet as well. For showing Alex some love, we want to kick it straight back to you. Use the code ALEX10 at the checkout. That is going to give you 10% off stjanagloss.com. Michael, huge congratulations on the van. You deserve all the luck in the world. I love you lots. Back to the show. So we need to get a bed, bedding, um, and other stuff in here. Doable? Yeah? Is this a good one? That, and then we need some bed sheets as well. This pillow feels soft and firm at the same time. I'm very familiar with that. One, yeah, two, oh. Where would I find duvets? Downstairs. Downstairs. That, one, two. But th there's, no, there's no duvet in here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. See, this is 101 walking around Ikea. No f***ing about. Just go in there with a plan. In, out, bosh. What about this? 100 by 150. Rubber backed. Hard wearing. What about a yucca? Oh, is this actually real? Sorry. Look at this, wait. Reverse entry. It's very big. Oh, it's not that one. That. Yeah? Yes. Why does it look so thin? Okay. You have an answer for everything, Rory. And that's why you're here. Bed, rug, bedding, stuff, done. With Ikea dominated in record time, it was then on to Halfords to buy the more practical stuff, like a battery pack, camping grill, and a few other bits and bobs. And then finally, destination dealership was punched into Google Maps. Right, so cars under 3000.co.uk are where hopes and dreams are made or broken. They're being made today. As you can see, there is Destiny looking magnificent in pearlescent white. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, should we go find Taylor? Right, so I want to introduce you guys to my new best friend. Hold out your hand. This is Taylor from Cars Under 3000. And I phoned you, didn't I, a few days ago. Yes. And I said, I like the look of your van. 
how much do you want for it? And then you asked, you kind of inquired, yep. what's it for? And then when I explained the situation with Michael, you said, let me speak to my boss. And then five minutes later, you called me back. And then what did you say? We can just give it. Yeah. For anyone who missed that, this two and a half thousand pound van is being donated, no strings attached. When Taylor told me the news on the phone last week, I shit you not, I nearly cried. Such is the generosity I've not seen in a long time. Yeah, we can give it. There's, there's no need to have any money back for the van. It's, um, yeah, it's a deal done. So this is a van, AKA Destiny. Taylor, tell me the good and the bad things about it. You said you've had it for about, what, three weeks or so? Yeah, three, four weeks, yeah. Just a little part exchange. Good little van, does as it should. Yeah. Loads of loading space. Obviously, Michael is gonna be using this to uh, sleep in. Uh, Michael is five foot eight. I'm, uh, I'm about six two. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm six four. <laughs> oh, I like it. I'm 5'7", Michael is 5'8". Do you want to join me? That's all right though, isn't it? That's fine, all the yeah. headroom. Got loads of headroom. I'll be on a bed here. And then maybe if I were to bring you back for a night, you could just be on the floor once I'm done with you. It can happen. It could happen. It could happen. So nice and clean, tidy van. Was well, like 200,000 miles. 202. And the alloys really set this thing off. Were they like Mark I Focus or I something? I believe so, yeah. Inside Rory, join me. Inside Destiny. Clean and tidy, there's no tears, there's no rips. Everything looks as it should. Shall we start the engine? Moment of truth. On the button. It's a diesel. I like that. Quite responsive, isn't it? And you've got a CD player, air conditioning that you said works. Yep. I think Michael's gonna be very, very happy. We're gonna get Destiny loaded up on the trailer and then take Destiny with the X5 to Michael. So I guess the only thing that's left to say is to you, thank you very much You're for welcome. donating Destiny. I'm really excited to give this Transit Connect to Michael and change his future. Definitely. Because he's got a van he can sleep in and he's off the street with this. So uh, happy days indeed. Perfect. Right, so if you want some good, honest used cars from good, honest, used car dealers, then head, uh, head to these guys, uh, link in the description. They've got little hatchbacks, they've got cooler stuff, they've got E46s that I've got my eye on. <laughs> uh, so I guess we should just head off, right? And if you want vans as well, then come here because they're all free. Yeah? That's the rules. There That's we the go. Rules. Everyone gets a free van, <laughs> let's go. Right, so the time is 20 past four. I told Michael that we'd meet at half past four, gave him a call just to make sure he's already there. So uh, pub is that way and we've just dived into a residential area. We're gonna dump the van here on the trailer, go and have a chat, go and have some nice lunch and then I'll offer to drive him home or wherever he needs to be tonight. Obviously he doesn't have a home, he's homeless. And then we'll dive in here and present him the van. So we've got to be very quick, otherwise he'll start getting suspicious. Right, so this is the man in question. This is Michael Cords. It's good to meet you, man. Nice um, to meet you, man. We're at the pub and we're gonna have some lunch, but before that, I thought it'd be cool to, for you to share your story, actually, because you emailed me completely out of the blue about two weeks ago. I just launched a channel and the subject line, which I'll never forget, was living in a van. So why don't you kind of go back and tell me, tell everyone the story about why you emailed, your situation as well, and how, how that situation came to be. I am homeless. Um, I've been looking to get a vehicle for something to sort of stay in temporary whilst I try and get myself somewhere a bit more permanent. And I just sort of say, just suggested to you, you know, what, what are the, the realities of doing that, the costs that could be involved, could it be done? And how did that homelessness actually come about in the first place? Because you've not been homeless a long time, have you? No, since, well, it's coming up to a year now. It is um, basically a breakdown of a relationship. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm an angel. I've made some bad decisions. I can't sit there and feel sorry for myself yeah, about yeah, it. No, yeah. no one's going to come along and be like, yeah, here you go, mate. A lot of people don't realise that. They are quite literally living hand to mouth. In a month, you could you could be where I am in reality. It's, yeah. No one wakes up in the morning and thinks to make a conscious decision of, yeah, I'm going to be homeless. You also had a, a car crash as well. That'd be coming up to two years ago. Yeah. I uh, had an accident, quite bad head injury, had brain damage. Oh, really? And um, that's sort of what ended my heating career. In our correspondence, you also you know, sent me a couple of links to some local news articles. And in those articles, it was kind of painting a picture of the realities yeah. of sleeping rough. You get abuse non-stop, people throw their judgments at you. 
you know, there's no actual help as such as far as any government intervention. And then you bring a Friday and a Saturday night into that once the alcohol's come into it and abuse becomes violence. This shouldn't be happening in this day and age. One of the headlines was set on fire to urinated on. Tell me a little bit more about that. Mentally, that's never going to leave me. I think that's what a lot of people don't realise when they think something might be a bit of fun and games, so let's, let's go out and humiliate this person. I don't think they look at the long-term impact that's going to have on someone. But, you know, you have managed to turn your fortunes around, or started to, yeah. because you got a job at Pizza Hut tail end of last year, yeah. college as well. Hey, I'd always wanted to be a hairdresser, so it's just um, seemed like the ideal time to sort of pursue it. Um, I did, I finished my barbering, I got midway through the hairdressing and then I had this job came along for the engineering and it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. You know, you've got to decide what you want in life and you just got to try and get it. No matter how out of reach it seems, you've at least got to try. Well, I want to get to six foot by the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, me too. You too, <laughs> yeah. Michael actually told me that he's five foot eight. I think you're a bit of a liar. I yeah, think you're yeah. my height. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're five foot seven on a yeah. good day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we'll let it pass. You can have you can have the extra inch, okay? <laughs> you are technically homeless, but you do have a place to stay occasionally. I'll never stay there more than three, four nights a week. So I don't know how to stay in my world because I'll not have anywhere to ever go. Yeah. Um, that I'm not there, um, it'll simply be I won't sleep. Or if I can, if it's a quiet enough night and I can find somewhere quiet, then you know, I'll get a few hours sleep. But in my experience, it's you can't close your eyes. So moving forward, the plan is buy a van, sleep in it, and you mentioned uh, potentially getting a second job as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've delivered pizzas all throughout my adult life. Oh, second so job. So Domino's all it's the way. Great, it? <laughs> it's good you fun. You can't mess up delivering a pizza, can you? <laughs> Make more money and then yeah, yeah. yeah. and then get, get that. as much rent in advance as I can. And jobs are good. And place again. Well, our food is just coming out. This is good timing. It's mixed grill for this man here. <laughs> yeah, two of those. They both oh. for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> with lunch polished off, it was now time to engage Operation Surprise Michael with a van. So after offering him a lift into town, I put my plan into action. Can you just go in the glove box and yep. get something for me there? Yeah. I know you like reading. Yeah. What is it? That's a Transit Connect manual. It is? That is. Shut up. What's that? That's a Transit Connect 2002 to 2011. Whose is that? That's your Language. Transit Connect. Um, you're, you're fine, you're fine. That's your you're Transit. You're shitting me, right? No. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Come here. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> There's your home. Home on wheels. Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely serious. Oh man. You I'm, might I'm, need that. No, it's quite, quite an old van. No, it's cool. I'm, I'm glad I got these on because I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And um, this is. No, I've got. There. So, this has oh. actually been two weeks in the making. It is important to share your message no, and also to, to give you something that will take you off the streets because no, you've had a amazing. really shit time. No, that's amazing. Thank you. You're very no, welcome. Thank you. You're, You're very welcome. Man, you really are. No, it's all good. And you, Rory. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, no, definitely not Rory. Oh, wow. But um, yeah, collected that today um, from the lovely guys at Cars Under 3000 and uh, told them the story, your story. And I said, how much do you want for it? And they, they donated it. Oh, so. Thank you. It's all right. You've got yourself a van. Hold out your hand. Thank you. Hold out your, your hand. hand. There we go. Should we go check out <laughs> your van? By the way, your van is called Destiny. Destiny, I yeah, like it. Yeah, really enough. You want to just unlock it? It works on the fob, not even my X5 works on the fob. <laughs> and um, do you want to have a quick look? Oh, we've shut also, up. <laughs> we've also done some shopping for you. So we'll quickly go through. You've got a little tool kit, IKEA's yeah. finest. You've got a USB thing, tire pump, uh, grill. Water, you can fill that up with water. You've got your own tap, cooking utensils, a little rug, because we need to make this look very homely. Uh, there's a bed, that's a mattress, single mattress, <laughs> duvet, pillows, towel, duvet covers, and then some fake plants. <laughs> Careful. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but um, I've had a good lie down in it, and it's 
plenty, so plenty six, big enough. six foot plus, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I'm about six foot three. No, yeah. I, was, I was six foot one earlier, wasn't I? But yeah, yeah. as you can see, we are That's what you're standing downhill. Yeah, we are vertically <laughs> challenged, so I think we could, we're like the borrowers. We could both live yeah. in here, couldn't we? I'm just going to um, arrange your kitchen a yeah. little bit. <laughs> I mean, look, we are practically standing up in here. Yeah, I mean, I can stretch. <laughs> <laughs> what does this van now mean or enable you to do? It gives me security. It's what it gives me more than anything. It's, it gives me the security to know that I can close my eyes at night and not be worried something's going to happen to me. Yeah. So I'll tell you, uh, some horrible things have happened to me in my sleep, and that's what stops me going to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, so I mean, you're nearly 40, you need your sleep. Yeah, you need your beauty. I mean, I'm nearly there as well. If I don't have a sleep, then I'm very, very cranky. I'm still, just still, I'd be speechless. It's just, you know, it's one of the nicest things that's happened in a very, very long time, yeah. it really is. Well, I think, I think, speaking to you, you strike me as a, as a good person who's yeah. just had really shit luck. So if I and if we can help someone like you out, then why not? We should put the rug down, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't even take my shoes off. How dare you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're in. <laughs> so you said that you were going to go to your place of work tonight yeah. to sleep. Yeah. So now I'm going to be sleeping... In this? In this, yeah. Amazing, I'm so happy. Oh. But hopefully this will also mean that, you know, you've, you've saved a grand from working. No, I have. You can spend that on a room you know, maybe sooner. No, exactly, that's, sooner that's, that's rent in advance as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Jobs, no, you're very, very welcome. Um, yeah, keep in contact, let us know how you get on in the van. I will, definitely. And uh, if it comes to you selling it, let me know and I'll try and help out that way as well. Oh, awesome. And we'll sell it for like five or 10 grand or so, because it'll be a YouTube famous Transit <laughs> Connect that's been lived in by local celebrity, Michael. Thank you, man, no thank worries. you. My absolute pleasure. If you see people like Michael or whoever else is having a shit time, be nice, pay it forward. There we go, job done. Yeah, another one, definitely, you never have too many. <laughs> thank you. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much for watching because without you guys, stuff like this legitimately is not possible. So if you want to see more of this, then um, what should they do? Subscribe? Yeah, subscribe, where, like. Where should we, we should subscribe over there? Is it down there? Subscribe up there, all right? Yeah. From us, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.